Welcome to another episode of my playthrough of Guardians of the Galaxy. We ended the last episode with the thing bugging out on me when I tried to do a rally. So let's try and get through this battle again. If you like the content and want to see more, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. Fighting centurions will be necessary here, woman. Spread out! we check her office. I even know how we can get there. You know a way out of the hangar? Yeah, Drax spotted it on our way in. We can use the hole Nikki and I fell into when Raker's shuttle exploded. You know, we never did talk about why you jumped after her, Peter. Uh, because it was the right thing to do. We should hurry. More zealots could arrive at any moment. The hole we saw should be on the other side of these moving batteries. Gonna need to find a way to stop them. Rocket, can you see where that vent leads? Anything to get out of here. We should be prepared in case the beast tries to destroy this machinery. There you go. I've done my part. Yeah, thanks. Keep in mind, it may not stay jammed forever. We still need a way through. Drax, gonna need you to drag this over. I will assume you have a plan. I see what you were thinking, Peter Quill. You can use the train to grab a battery. Uh, right. Just like I planned. Just like I thought. Impressive work, Peter Quill. I just hope it does not cause an explosion. Well, let's not stick around to find out. All right. Come on, the tunnel's just past here. We got lucky no one else showed up. The Unifier has detected an intrusion. Spread out. It will be contained by, by her, her will. will. Move! There's too many of them. In the hole! Jump! Still don't get why you jumped after the kid back then. Top ten dumbest things I ever saw you do. You should have seen how worried he was. Hey, Star Pants was our ticket with the captain. I was worried his death would lead to more jail time. It was adorable. I hate you all. Pretty sure this is right. Pretty sure? Everything was on fire last time. I couldn't make that happen. No, no, Rocket, no! 
Ain't that a piece of the Unifier's old ship? Unifier? Yeah, whatever. When we were arrested, they mentioned Raker got caught for the same thing we did. Not exactly the same. He got caught scavenging in the quarantine zone. How is that not the same? Forget Raker. Our focus right now is finding Nikki. Your focus? My focus is not dying on this stupid ship. The dog wants us to find Centurion Co. Realm. Right, so we're multitasking. I did not realize you and the girl fell down so far, Peter Quill. I didn't fall. I jumped. Heroically. Dog report item. The rumbling continues. Poor Contraxia. One more time, Groot. Let's go find Corel and Nikki. So, we all agree that the captain and her kid are probably dead, right? Corel survived the worst of the war. And a relationship with Peter. Mm. Still willing to bet they didn't survive this. You'd wager on whether or not a mother and child are dead. Nikki's one of the most resourceful kids I ever met, and Corel's a warrior. I'd bet on both of them any day of the week. Be careful down there, Peter Quill. Yeah, definitely a lot sparkier than last time. Uh, make sure the kid ain't floating face up somewhere. That'll work. What do you say, Gamora, now that the floor can't kill us? I say, no problem. Well, definitely no sign of Nikki or Corel. I mean, I guess that's good news. Oops. Well, let's rock out with the new outfits. Does Groot have a Nova Core? Yeah. Whoa! Watch out! Groot says we should start thinking about exit plans. The exit plan is to call Cosmo after we get the answers we need. Answers you need, maybe. Don't suppose you've seen Nikki? I'm sorry, what? You feeling okay, Peter? It's one of Nikki's robots. She gives them names and takes care of them or whatever. Does not look taken care of to me. been a noticeable lack of upgrade mats and stuff so far. Does not strike me as very safe here, Peter Quill. Better this than getting shot at. Eh, speak for yourself. You'd rather get shot at? More fulfilling to shoot someone I don't like than look for someone I don't care about. Our leader seems to care, and so we should also pretend to care. Are you? <sighs> of course you would. Peter Quill. Okay, don't remember this green gas being here last time. I think you mean deadly green gas. This whole ship's a death trap now. I'm sure there's a way to unburst these pipes. There better be, because there's no way I'm walking through that. There, breezy peasy. Okay, that was bad, even for you. Ah, more death gas. Maybe Nikki and Corral are using it to protect themselves. Or, and you can hear me out on this, maybe they're dead. Tension is palpable. Oh, can you both please? 
Please just get over this. Agreed. Either resolve your issues or fight to the death. Look, Rocket. I know I suck sometimes. We all suck sometimes. Pretty sure it's why we ended up together. I do not suck. The point is, I care about us. But right now, we're not the ones in danger. And Nikki's just a kid, man. As long as we're clear on the you sucking part. Clear as day. Are you sure this is the right way, Peter Quill? It's clearly not. I'm investigating. Need some blade work here. Okay, I'm gonna slice it. You sure this is the right way? Just keep your eyes open. You know, Peter, if Nikki and Corel really are... They're not. I'm just saying we should be ready for anything. They're not. Oh, almost fell off. Signs of Nikki or Corel. In the face of death's infinite mystery, Contathians are taught to focus on what is tangible. I'll keep that in mind. Here, this is definitely the right way. Nikki's secret hideout is just through here. I thought we were going to the captain's office. We are, right after we check here. Try not to break anything. This place means a lot to her. Oh, wow. Didn't Nikki paint all this? Pretty cool, right? Nikki? Little one, reveal yourself. Maybe try being a little less scary. It's Peter. The, the pirate. Nikki! We do not intend to kill you. We need to get into that room. Rocket, you got the body of a little girl. Can you fit in there? Try again, Quill. Ask him nicely, Peter. I'm concerned for Nikki's safety, okay? I'm worried she might be hurt or scared or I don't know what. Can you please see if she's in there? See? Was that so hard? Yes, you I don't did. see no kid. <sighs> Careful, Peter Quill. In my experience, children often booby trap their toys. It's not <laughs> Nikki's, it's mine. So we're just claiming our stuff now? Because if we are... No, I mean it literally used to belong to me. Uh, Quill, you gotta see this. This kid's obsessed with you. Wait, why does she have your toy? It's just something I gave to Corral when we were together during the war, like a keepsake. It doesn't mean anything. Does, uh, this mean anything? How old is the child? Twelve. Ha! Congratulations, Peter Quill. You will make a terrible father. <laughs> Unless the child is dead, in which case, it does not matter. W wait, is this why you dragged us here? Clearly. The child is 12. Yes, okay. So the dates maybe kind of match up, so it's possible, I guess. It's only they had a health class on this. Inspiring. Can we just focus on if Corell and Nikki are okay? They're clearly not here, so let's move on and keep looking. Still can't get over how good she is with all this tech stuff. Pretty sure she ain't here, Quill. 
Staring at it ain't gonna change what it says. It doesn't say anything. Guess Nikki wasn't much of a Scrawl fan. Name someone who is a Scrawl fan. <laughs> Good point. Huh. Not a bad workbench. For a kid. I'm thinking Nikki won't mind if we use this. What do you say, Rocket? I say I don't care even if she does mind. Done in record time. Okay, where were we? Congratulating you on being a father. Anyone else feel weird going through Nikki's stuff like this? Peter Quill is her father. It is his duty to pry into her personal life. Should be a way to Corell's office through those pipes on the left. Yeah, I see an opening. Could be there's a latch on the inside. Allow me, Star Dad. <laughs> I, I get it. <laughs> Guys. Can we not make light of all this? We still don't know if they're okay. I am capable of feeling concern while still laughing at you, Peter Quill. Gotta admit it, Quill. Kid's whole setup is pretty impressive. The way she rigged her terminal to the emergency power grid. I told you, she's a smart kid. Perhaps Peter Quill did not sire this child after all. <laughs> yeah, I could see that. She just don't seem dopey enough. Maybe she gets everything from the mother's side. Yes, she should have exhibited at least some foolishness. If I had a kid, she or he would definitely be super cool and smart. So just like Nikki. I guess, maybe, yes. Yep, so definitely gets it from the mother's side. That's the elevator I took with Corell and Nikki. If we're lucky, maybe they're on their way down right now. When have we ever been lucky? It did seem unlikely. All I know is I am really starting to hate this elevator. Form of a new one! I hate to admit it, but I have a really bad feeling about Corral and Nikki. Feelings mean nothing. We must see the bodies for ourselves. Did the rest of you already know that Peter Quill was the child's father? Start being all paternal now? We're fine, Pete. Peter, we know how to fight. I know, I, I just. We'll find them. Don't worry. You said Corral's office was up top somewhere? Yeah. Just need to make our way up. Side. Longer it takes to find them, longer we can pretend they're Let's okay. Let's see what's over this Comforting. Place. Shouldn't you be focused on figuring out what's inside those batteries? Quietly? Nah, I tend to think better when I'm mouthing off. More deadly gas! Oh yeah, he's definitely stalling. What do you expect? He's got the emotional maturity of a two-year-old. Are you speaking of Peter Quill? Obviously. I'll have you know, I am super... Emotionally mature. <laughs> I have been thinking. It is customary on Katath to bathe new fathers in a river of blood. <laughs> Next stop, Corell's office. Oh man, I wish we would have continued that. Come on, just admit it, Quill. You're freaking out right now. This whole deadbeat dad thing's got to be eating at you. Some need many years to fully comprehend their paternal responsibility. The prospect of maybe being a dad is... a little scary. A little? Embrace the panic, Peter Quill. It is the essence of fatherhood. Well, that don't look good. There was a struggle here. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm reacting to. I am reacting in my own way. This doesn't look good either. 
All we know is that there was a fight. We don't know who won. Pretty sure I know. So, where's this office, Quill? It's around here somewhere. Place wasn't this messed up last time. When in doubt, follow the stench of death. Dog report item. We are lost. We're not lost. Empty. Feels empty. Maybe they're hiding. Or there are always strange writings on the wall. I'm gonna try and get in her computer. See if I can wipe my criminal history. Rocket! I'm kidding. I'm gonna access her logs. You wanna know what happened here or not? Fine. The rest of us will take a look around. Maybe they left a clue or something. The scribbles are Cree. This one says, Mother knows best. Return? Any luck getting in? Things pretty well protected. I need time. All right, let me know. Nikki? Obvious signs of a struggle, Peter Quill. Yeah, this doesn't look good. Ah, <sighs> appealing. What is this? Some kind of a threat? The Cree Council demands proof of Nikki's heritage under the Cree Purity Laws. What Cree Purity Laws? Corel never told you that either? The Cree are extremely strict about their bloodlines. Uh, this does not look good. For you? No, for Nikki. What are the chances the Cree are involved in any of this? The Council of Purity isn't cryptic. When they punish someone, they make sure everyone knows it. Corel and Nikki. Hanging from a wall. The resemblance is uncanny. She doesn't look anything like me. She's blue. Besides, why wouldn't Corell have just told me? Protect her daughter, Peter Quill. Copulating with you was a capital offense under the Cree purity laws. Oh, right. That. So when Corell said we shouldn't be doing this... She was being literal. Nikki's ID. Something seems off, though. What do you mean, off? I don't know. Like it's been flagged or something. Not sure. Where's the girl's date of birth on those documents? Does it match with the typical Cree gestation period? Some kind of dye machine. Okay, I'm in. But I got bad news, lover boy. What did you find? Come here and I'll show you. So what am I looking at? Nothing. She's the captain. Captains keep logs. You keep logs? I I'm trying to tell you, they're gone. All of them. Almost like the world mind went out of its way to sever everything. Have you tried turning it off and on? What about backups? Doesn't every Nova ship have a central hub or something? A Nexus mainframe, yeah. If there's ghosts anywhere in the system, that's where. I categorically refuse. Not literal ghost, Drax. He's talking about data. Right? Yes, but we'd have to access the Nexus directly. Means going to the bridge. We're not leaving until we find out what happened. Center of operations it is. According to the ship's map, the bridge should be right through here. Don't worry, Corral. Oh, where'd my head go? I'll make sure this gets back to you. That was weird. Peter, shouldn't we head for the bridge, try to access those logs? Yeah, yeah, I just want to be sure we didn't miss anything. Dog report item. It's one of them priests down there, ain't it? Okay, so it looks like the church is behind them. Oh, crap. Uh, nuts to this. I'm out of here. Stop. What the... Dog report item! We are under attack! By a giant robot? By some weird priest! By a weird giant robot priest! Okay, yep, definitely a dog report item. 
Priest. Robot priest. I am Groot. Groot says the mutt's not answering. Keep trying. The rest of us can focus on figuring a way out. Really? This is the server room, right? And servers mean data? I can't just plug servers into my skull. I still need a central terminal. You said the bridge was on the other side of that corridor. So we just gotta make our way across and then up somehow. Alright, well with that done, I'm going to end the episode here, and we'll pick up again in the next episode. Thanks for watching.